A technology that helps drivers get where they're going is now doing the same thing for the blind. Veterans at the VA hospital in Palo Alto are being trained to use the device to go where their eyes can no longer take them. I believe I want to turn left here. Walt Sullins is taking an almost perfect stroll through downtown Palo Alto. If only the view were better. Right now, uh, every day is a foggy day, even a bright sunny day. That fog is the result of a condition called macular degeneration. Macular degeneration blots out the, your central vision. It's like trying to look through your fist, and it makes it a little difficult to, uh, to read street signs. But on this walk, Walt is getting some help finding the street signs and his destination from a device more commonly found in a car. On Waverly Street, Palo Alto, satellites, nine. Oh, I've got nine satellites. Walt is being trained to use this specialized GPS by therapists at the VA hospital in Palo Alto. The device, known as a trekker, is adapted for use by the blind. Laura Kohler helps run the VA's Blind Rehabilitation Center. And what's different about it is it's about the same size as a regular handheld device, but it's got a tactile keyboard overlay to allow them to access the information. Using his sense of touch, Walt can cycle through a list of options. The GPS figures out where he is, and he tells it where he wants to go. Okay, I'm pushing enter to choose Borders Bookstore. Borders Palo Alto 1. Please head northwest towards Waverly Street crossing Hamilton Avenue. And off I go. The device gives Walt the shape and layout of the intersections he's crossing, but he still has to navigate the traffic and red lights using his own hearing and white cane. I'm assessing the intersection. As he walks along, the GPS begins describing the neighborhood, giving him a chance to learn it the way a sighted person would. Union Bank of California, nearby. Union Bank of California, nearby. Palo Alto Sports Shop and Toy World, on your left. Michael's Gelato and Cafe, on your right. It's very freeing to be able to walk down the street and just explore the environment, something that we take so for granted. The software is geared toward walking and steers away from freeways and busy expressways that a normal GPS might favor. In about half an hour, Walt is closing in on his mark. You have reached your destination. Order on your right. It's right here, and it's a nice uh, open place to be. Voila. Once he masters the technology, he'll take the device and a newfound sense of freedom back to his home in Southern California. Uh, th this is, uh, this is uh, the, the letting me out of the bottle to give me the freedom that I want to go to walk around my town. And by the way, the GPS that Walt was using costs about $1,700. There, there are also some less expensive versions coming out. Okay.